I'm Ronnie Aldana, and for the last 10 years, I've helped thousands of business owners just like yourself set their businesses up for the funding they need. And here, we're just gonna go right into it. So, we're gonna start with the difference between an EIN versus a Dun & Bradstreet number. After I go through this, then I'm gonna flip the script and we're gonna talk about the six steps to setting your business up for underwriting, the past funding. So let's start with the EIN and DMB because this is very important. If you don't get this right, then you're gonna build the wrong credit reference for the wrong type of funding. So an EIN is financial credit. Now, financial credit means you can go to a financial institute with it, which happens to be a bank. Banks are financial institutes. What do banks give? Loans, lines of credit, credit cards, and vehicles, right? So if you're building your DMB, which is retail credit, your DMB, you can take to any retail location like a store, Tiger Direct, Quill, Granger, Uline, Office Depot, Walmart, gas cards. So you can get store cards, 30, 60, 90 day payoff accounts, and gas cards. Only retail funding pulls D and B. So if you build your Dun & Bradstreet and you're trying to go to this side of the fence, DMV is not located on these applications. You can simply go to your bank online, pull up a business application for something as simple as a business credit card from your bank. You'll see tax ID number EIN. You will not see DMV at all. It's, they, don't, they don't compute. They don't look at those little lines. Now, DMV, a lot of people will go to companies like TrueB.com or Credit Suite, and over six, eight, nine, ten months, you can build an, an 80 pay dex. It's a very weak pay dex because they, they added five lines and said just buy something from each one of them. I'm sure everyone buys $50 to $100 from each one, spends 250 to 500 total. Now, if you were to go to a bank and say, hey, look, can you look at my DMV? And let's say the bank looked at it, which they won't, but let's just say they did. Well, what are they going to see? Okay, you have five accounts. Great. You never screwed them over, so you got an 80 pay dex. Now the lender says, well, that's great that it's an 80 pay dex. Let's see why it's an 80 pay dex. Once they look at the DMV and they go, oh, he spent $75 six months ago, eight months ago, one time and paid it back never had any other consistent payments, nothing, just paid it back so he didn't screw them over but only made one payment. And you're asking for a loan. Why would a lender give you a $50,000 or $100,000 loan when you're showing them a credit reference that you've only handled $100 one time six months ago, eight months ago? They're not. That's why bank loans don't look at store credit because you're usually not using that much money at that particular store every single month. So build your EIN. If you want a bank loan, a line of credit, a credit card, a vehicle, build your Dun & Bradstreet because you want retail store accounts. Now, this takes six to eight months for a professional company to help you get to an 80 pay dex, a weak 80 pay dex, so you can get this weak credit. This takes two months, right under 60 days, to build your EIN so you can walk into financial institutes like a bank, get a bank loan, a credit card, line of credit, vehicles in your company's name. So at this point, you have to ask yourself, before you even start the journey, what does my business need to survive? What kind of funding am I looking for? Am I looking for retail funding or am I looking for financial funding? Most people are gonna be on this side of the fence. Some people end up right here, maybe builders wanna have a big store card with Lowe's or Home Depot so they can buy a whole bunch of wood and pay it back in three months. But right here, this credit card, I can go to Home Depot and buy wood. I can go to Walmart and buy food. I can go to Belize and go on vacation. I can do anything with my business credit card because I can use it anywhere. Store cards, you have to use it at the store. So how much gas are you really gonna buy? Maybe your trucking company. They give you access to $20,000 on the gas card. Well, that's gonna help. But again, my $20,000 business credit card, I can go buy gas. I can go to any store. I can go to anywhere with it and do anything. So I like building my EIN. I personally, this is me personally, I have three companies. I don't have a DMV number or anything to do with Dun & Bradstreet. I don't need a store card. I use a real credit card. I don't need gas cards. I use a real credit card. They don't offer loans. I need a loan. 
I need cars and trucks in my company's name. So I don't need DMV because everything on this side can help me. But again, this is a six to an eight to a nine month process to build a very weak 80 pay deck. This is a two month process to build financial credit and walk into the bank immediately after at, within the right at the two months when it's done. So this is what I go after. Now at the end of my, my video, uh, if you need to be led to a good place that builds this in two months and a good place that builds this in six to eight months, I'll leave a link up for you. Uh, other than that, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn the board over and we're gonna talk about the six steps to underwriting. So how to pass credit, setting up your business, business phone number, website, business location, business credit, personal credit. And that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna go over, so again, I'm Ronnie Aldana, and I'm gonna change your life.